മറ്റേ ആ ഇക്വിറ്റിയുടെ പൊസിഷനൊക്കെ എല്ലായിടത്തും എഴുതത്തുള്ളൂ അല്ലേ അതും ഇപ്പൊ മാർക്കറ്റ് കയറിയെങ്കിൽ അതും നല്ല പെർഫോമൻസ് ആയിരിക്കുമല്ലോ Sorry, did you stop uh, taking this crude oil uh, sessions? No, 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 no. We're doing on September 6th. Took a small break because too many things on the table. Mm. Not yesterday, table. Was, yesterday was a good move, right? Yeah, crude is moving good. Nice. Uh, I could help you. I have a Telegram channel on the Telegram channel. This live session is on the Telegram channel on the broadcast. എല്ലാ ടെലിഗ്രാം ചാനലിലും നമ്മുടെ ടെലിഗ്രാമിന്റെ എല്ലാത്തിനും എന്തോ ഷെയർ ചെയ്തു ഓക്കെ സോ ദസ് ഗെറ്റ് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ബൈ ഹാവിങ് എ ലുക്ക് എറ്റ് ദ മാർക്കറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഐ ടെൽ യു അബൌട്ട് ദ ലൂസിങ് ട്രേഡ്സ് ആയിട്ട് ഐ ഹാവ് ആൻഡ് അസ് വെൽ ദ വിന്നിങ് ട്രേഡ്സ് ആയിട്ട് ഐ ഹാവ് Uh, and also the price action part to it also we'll look forward to take some trades together okay we'll like risk a little bit of the this thing that we have and we'll kind of actually just try to take some risk also so this is the chart of nifty so what kind of a opening did we have today by the way gap up okay. gap up gap opening gap up you might exit it in a bit when something i okay so we had a gap up opening today uh, so if you have a look over here market's open with a gap up so first i will explain about some positions that uh, share edo matter edada ga okay guys i'm putting everybody on mute why because else it could create some audio disturbance so i'm putting everybody on mute i'll give you a chance to ask questions okay so today it has been like a very good uh, gap up day Now that is what we see on the charts so daily time okay so on an expiry day we had a big gap up okay so markets were like uh, continuously forming lower lows for the last uh, like one month if you have a quick look at it share idalo le share join jane idalo So it was continuously forming lower lows for the last one month. If I have a look at it, okay, uh, here once again here. If you look, this is the structure. It formed a swing low, swing high, swing low, swing high, swing low, swing high, and here also it formed a swing low. So the, these two levels uh, basically corresponds with each other. Okay, so these two levels uh, basically. Uh, we are forming something like a double bottom so this is a daily time frame chart that i am looking at at this point in time it is like a double bottom okay so now uh, from here we have the price picking up so i feel the next level of resistance for nifty would be over here okay this would be the resistance that is the old uh, support will be converted to the new resistance level so this is an old support level this is Lastly, we can convert it to a new resistance level. So, what are the price action that we see over here? Like this particular candle, this candle specific. I'll get into the fifty minutes time frame. So, what are the price action that we are seeing over here? Come on, guys, please respond. So, what are the price action that we are seeing? you can let me know through the chat box so we see uh, what we referred to something like an evening star formation almost exactly at the resistance level uh, we are seeing like a three candle combination so first we have like a bullish candle then we have like a inverted hammer followed by that we are kind of actually some bullish price action 
after that we are kind of actually seeing some inverted hammer then we see some sort of a uh, rejection candles that is kind of actually getting formed over here now i'll just get back into the five minutes time frame and we'll closely look at this further so on an intraday basis uh, can you tell me like what are the opportunities we can check out for so market picked up it formed a high then from there it kind of actually came down again it kind of actually picked up now this particular swing low is actually getting broken and then it is dropping now where could be the next support of nifty so where can nifty find the support tell me come on guys so nifty can actually find a support at the day slow that is over here okay so nifty can actually find a support over here at the day slow okay so if at all it has to find a support it has to find somewhere over here i feel somewhere over here this region this region is where nifty could potentially find a support now uh, we'll kind of quickly have a look at our current positions how it is placed that is how our current positions are placed in the markets let's actually have a look at it So how is my how how are our positions placed? Can you have a look at it? Buying it bullish by So how are our current positions placed? Bullish or bearish? Our current positions are basically placed at a, a pretty bullish buyer. So as much as markets pick up, I'll show it to you in sensible. So if you have a quick look over here, this is where the market is to pick up, we make money. On the other hand side of the market is to actually fall down. Uh, that is basically the point in time we end up losing money. So if the market is to pick up, we have to make money. And if the market is to actually fall down, we are to lose money. Okay. So I as an individual, uh, like right now, will I be worried about markets moving up further? What do you think? So as an individual, will I be worried about markets moving up right now? Would you think I'll be worried about markets moving up? And the answer is no. So with the markets moving up, we are seriously not concerned about it uh, because our positions, uh, uh, yeah. So because our positions are already bullish. Okay, since our positions are bullish, if the markets are actually moving up, we'll kind of be happy. It is good for us if it is to pick up. Okay, so I wanted to find a support somewhere here. I want the markets to kind of hold the support somewhere here. And from here, it should continue picking up. That is what I want. I don't want the day slow to be broken and to fall down. However, uh, in this particular case also, by any chance, if the day slow is to be taken out. So by any chance, if we have the day slow to kind of actually be broken or the day slow to be taken out, then we shall start looking for sell side opportunities or short opportunities. Okay, so probably if at all we have to take a trade, most probably it is going to be on the sell side now because we need the day slot to be broken and we look for a gap filling trade, something like this. So maybe the day slow is getting broken. The five minutes time frame, we we'll consider going for a short. Okay, so keeping our target to be something like this. Okay, so we'll consider keeping our target like this and stop loss like this. We'll basically consider going for a short. So once again, I'm saying, so uh, here, if you have a quick look at it, day slow getting broken would actually give us an opportunity to check out for a short opportunity. But I literally don't want today, we really don't want day slow to be broken because our positions are on the bullish side so the i want market to pick up okay so markets picking up is always good for us today we seriously don't want uh market to actually drop okay we actually want markets to uh pick up okay we actually want markets to pick up we seriously don't want markets to fall down 
Okay. So, but if at all day slow is going to be broken, that is when we had to look for short side opportunities. And uh, the short side opportunity probably will go by uh, 19. We'll think about buying like 19, 450 call option or something. We'll try playing around with an out of the money option, like 19, 450 call option. Uh, something we'll buy and uh, then we'll hold it uh, with the, this particular level as our stop. Okay. 19400, 19450 put option. Sorry, downside 19450 put option will consider buying. So today we're not going to sell options because I feel there is no point in selling options at this particular point in time. We'll go for a directional trade. So already I had some sell positions and now though it is more or less in uh, this thing, uh, buy side. This directional bias, buy side positions is what we hold. Okay, so this is one thing I'm looking at. So price action wise, uh, once again I'm marking, this is the day low. So day low, always strong support. So day low is always like a strong support. The support breaks. Okay, so if day low, day low is kind of actually getting broken, then we kind of actually see that uh, there is a good downside fall that can potentially come in. Whenever there is a day low getting broken, downside fall, we can actually see. So we need to see for ourselves how the day low is getting broken. And here though, this is the swing levels I look at like this. So if day low is also to be broken, like the swing level I look will be like this. Okay. So this would be one trade that we can watch out to take if at all market is to fall down. But I don't want the market to fall down. I want it to continue moving up only. But if it is to fall down, this is what we can actually do. So these are the positions that we have for ourselves right now. Total it is running almost three, almost four lakhs. Okay. Along with that, uh, I wanted to tell you something very, very important. Many of you guys have been asking which stock to invest. I'm not getting time to trade all those things. So if you're someone who is not getting time to kind of actually uh, trade, I would highly recommend that you go invest in exactly the small case product that we are doing. Exact same thing you also do. Okay. So this is the time like from last month onwards, we have started getting into, you know, last month, this month only, this month beginning onwards, we have started getting into Nifty 500 stocks and we are outperforming the market really well. So if you have a look at it, this is the, this is our portfolio growth and this is the general Nifty market. This is Nifty's move and this is our move. So we are looking like a little bit more uh, returns, like we're targeting to achieve more returns this financial year because last two quarters have not been so good for us. Okay, so we are actually trying to achieve a like little bit more extra returns this particular financial year. So I would uh, recommend you to go ahead uh, this thing, like go ahead, subscribe to it. 90% coupon bond up is on the Freedom 50. Small case in uh, guys, I'll give you a 90% days coupon code. See, it is mandatory that, see, I, to be very honest, subscription cost per month is 100 rupee and we don't have anything to make out of it. I'll give you, but it is mandatory by SEBI that we had to charge for this. Okay. I'll give you a 90% days coupon code. You can get it for some 50 rupees per month or something, but this is totally worth it. Okay. You can also invest into this by SAP. So if you're someone who is not getting time, Okay, I would recommend you to do this because easily we generated 20 percentage, 22 percentage last year. This year we are trying for more returns because we are having nifty 500 stocks also coming in. Okay, so that part is there. I'll give you the link as well as the coupon code also, 90 percentage off. So now market is dropping. Let's see how it is going. Let's see. If it is to break the day slow, then we can check out for uh, shorts. One position where I'm losing money today uh, or this month is ICICI Bank. ICICI Bank is running all the time. Exit is no? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? What position is it? Start. What is it? Rolling start is it? 
എത്ര ലോസ് ഉണ്ട് ഒരു ശതമാനത്തിനുണ്ടോ അതെ പൊസിഷൻ പോയിരുന്ന ചേട്ടാ നോക്ക കെയർഫുൾ ആയിരിക്കുന്നു നമ്മുടെ കിടപ്പുണ്ട് നമ്മുടെ അത് എക്സിറ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ടായിരുന്നു അത് കയറ്റേണ്ടത് ആര് അല്ല അത് അത് എക്സിറ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞാണ് അത് കംപ്ലീറ്റ് എക്സിറ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ടായിരുന്നു അത് കയറ്റേണ്ടത് അത് വരുന്നോട് പറ അത് കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ബാക്കി നിഫ്റ്റി പീസ് സാധനങ്ങളും കംപ്ലീറ്റ് എക്സിറ്റ് ആയിട്ട് ഈ പുതിയ പോർട്ട്ഫോളിയോ മാത്രം മതി ഞാൻ അത് സ്പെസിഫിക് ആയിട്ട് പറഞ്ഞത് ഓക്കെ ഗൈസ് ലൈക്ക് ഐ സി എസ് എ ബാങ്ക് ഇഫ് ഐ ഹാവ് ലുക്ക് ഐ സി എസ് എ ബാങ്ക് വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻസ് ദിസ് ഇസ് വൺ പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ സപ്പോർട്ട് ഓക്കെ so i actually entered a trade i went for a buy position icsa uh, in this breakout that is i considered icsa bank to pick up so i went for a buy okay but unfortunately after that what happens is icsa bank falls down and now again it is playing around over here so two things can happen either it'll break out and go to this level consolidate maybe from here again an upside move can be expected or from here rejection and fall down but now this time i think it is going to break and go back to these levels so i lost around 1 percentage 1 and a half percentage of my capital in this particular trade so i lost around 1 and a half percentage of my capital in this trade so this is a level so you know if somebody is looking for a swing what you can do is you can wait for the price action formation over here you can wait for this level to be broken like this and then you can go for a buy from here you can expect the price to come up to this level that you can do okay but i lost money over here this month i lost around 1 and 1/2 percentage of my capital in this particular trade icsi bank so in this particular trade in icsi bank i lost like 1 and 1/2 percentage of my capital okay so just kind of make sure that whenever you are taking up a trade uh, the risk reward is always satisfied so the reason i took this trade was that if this le- level was actually to be broken and the price was to continue moving up i would have easily got like a 1 to 3 so uh, that's the reason like i wanted to take up this but it not i wanted i took this but i ended up failing so now next uh, next month expiry also i'll be interested in taking icici bank if again this level is to be broken so now we'll wait for our nifty trade let's wait so guys we just waiting for a breakdown over here we waiting for this level to be broken and the price to drop uh 
so we are just waiting for this level to break down. So only if this level is getting broken, then we have a more coming. So it's kind of slow, guys. I think I'll take some questions from your end. Okay. Uh, as a breakdown, we should, yeah, I'm considering 19 for 50 put. I'm not saying it will fall down. I'm waiting for negative set. Then I'll take a trade. In which app do you trade? Uh, see, I'm kind of telling you, uh, what do you say? I'm personally not trading in any of my accounts. Okay. I'm trading in my parents' accounts. So I'll consider the 19450 call if the day slow breaks. So till then I'll wait. So right now the positions that we have is actually bullish side positions. Okay, so all bullish side positions that we're having right now. Right now it is like at around 4.4, 4.5. Okay, so the market is to fall down and I'll go short. Else though I'll continue holding my longs. Okay. Just waiting. You have to be patient, guys. Don't. After break, will it go directly or will it rate us? How do I know, man? How can I say that? Maybe retest will be there. Maybe retest is not there. So that neither you nor me can actually come and tell you that there'll be retest or there'll be no retest. Both of us can't say. But if day store is getting broken, I'm checking out for a shot that I told you. Yeah, I'll, I'll send all the links and don't, don't worry. I'll give you some reference materials also. You guys don't worry about all those stuff. Uh, so most probably the trade will take together is this breakdown. Because moving up though, nothing we can do, we have to do. Winner Nandela. So I'm just once again sharing my screen with you guys. Uh, Nifty is once again just coming to the day slow. Meanwhile, some of you were asking about the small case. Okay. So this is the link of my small case. I'm putting the link in uh, your chat box over here. So you can get a 90 percentage off. See, uh, this is mandatory that we have to charge for this. Okay, that is the reason else though, nothing to do with this money. So winner 90 is the coupon code. So we have a coupon code winner 90. If you put this coupon code, you get 90% off. 
and i would recommend you to do this why because if you don't have time and the performance is also good last one year we had done around 22 percentage return on this particular small case and uh, this is how our performance is going as compared to nifty as compared to nifty this is how we are performing also i'll actually show it to you on small case site So two products we have, uh, this one is like passive investing. This is the same like investing into Nifty. This is our performance. This is Nifty's performance. And the other product is this. I recommend you to do this, this one. This will give you more returns. Okay. So this is our performance with respect to Nifty. This is how we go with respect to Nifty. Okay, so let's see what is happening. Okay, okay, breakdown is happening. So let's just wait. Uh, just quickly wait for a retest and then go for a shot. So I think my profits will decrease now. So if you have a look at it, our profits have decreased from almost 4, 4 lakhs to 4.4 lakhs to around 3 lakhs. Okay, our profits have decreased drastically right now. So let's see if this is a uh, solid uh, this like I'll actually show it to you with respect to option change that also property put. Have a quick look at this. 19450 put us trading at 12 rupees. So someone who wants to consider this can basically consider this to be a hero zero. Okay. That's it. So if you want to consider 19450, you can consider 19450 put option as a hero zero. That is, you can just buy this and uh, hold it without stop loss. So currently the price is 12.513. So 13 rupees will be your risk. If the market is tomorrow, maybe this 13 will become 24, 25, sorry, fall down. This 13 might become 30 or 40 also. Okay. So this can be considered to be a hero zero. 19,450 put option buy. Okay. And very small amount you risk. I'm personally not taking this trade because my bias is still continuing to be bullish. 19450 put buy at 12.5 stop loss zero. This can be considered to be a hero zero. Uh, so the risk over here is 12.5 rupee. So if you're trading two lots, uh, your loss is going to be 1,200 rupees. Okay, if you're trading two lots.
Mm. So let's see what has to happen. So to be very honest, I personally don't want the market to fall. I actually wanted to move up. So let's see if there is a read or something. Maybe some small quantity trade I'll show you. Take it. So now I haven't taken this particular trade, but uh, this can be considered to be hero zero. 19450 put by at 12.5 stop loss zero. Okay, but the amount that you should be risking this kind of trade should be like something that you're keeping aside from the profits that you made that day. Like that amount only you should risk, not more than that. Okay. Too much risk and all you should not be taking in these kind of trades. Uh, the risk amount shall actually be very nominal. Uh, should be something that you made from that day profit that you can consider taking as a risk. So positions are still bullish biased. Nineteen four fifty day. Uh, eleven of them. Nineteen four fifty put. Uh, by. Uh, trigger price, huh? Nineteen four fifty put by trigger twelve point five rupees. Nineteen four fifty put trigger price at twelve point five. Nineteen four fifty put. 19450 put by trigger 12.5 rupees stop loss is zero. So, okay, guys. Uh, so, just waiting for it. So, our team is also ready. So, we have actually placed trigger orders at 12.5 for 19,450 put option with stop loss at zero. Okay. So, as soon as the price just manages to pick above 19,450, uh, sorry, uh, above 12.5, uh, we'll go for a buy. Chedo. Okay, as soon as the price manages to break this high, we go for a buy with stop loss at zero. And uh, we are taking a risk of 0.2 percentage of the capital. That is what risk we are kind of actually taking. So now market is to pick up from here. I'm okay. I'm happy. But if it is to break down, I just want to cash for this move. So let's see how it goes. So meanwhile, any questions you guys have, uh, you can actually just, when will we be sure to buy put? See, in the market, never ever we can be sure about anything. Okay. Only thing is, you can be sure about how much risk you are taking and how much reward you are looking for. So here, when we are risking 12 points, we are trying to make like 30, 40 points if the trade is in our favor. Correct. So, price is not trigger at Eight point six on low. Yeah. You pay eight point six on low.
Okay. Okay, so 19,450, we got a trigger right now. We got a trigger. What is the risk reward ratio? Guys, like sometimes it is one is to one also we are going. Okay, uh, but we can definitely trying to make the trades risk free as fast as possible. That's the agenda right now. So now we actually, so that is the reason. Just give me a second, some call. Abarna Parna 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 Hello, Parna 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 Okay, so guys, now it is at 16.35. Hello, Varuna. Parada, Parada. Limited to 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 Actually, I'm trigger a trigger. I want to make a trigger. Okay, guys, so do something. Uh, now, see, this is this is a 17 point uh, something, 17.65. So if you are trading multiple lots and what you should actually be doing at this particular point in time is maybe you think about cutting maybe 25% uh, of your quantity, okay? I'm not asking you to trail to the cost yet because it is only like 6 rupee more that came. That's the highest. So you can continue, okay? So what I'm expecting is that the market is to continue dropping. I expect the premium to actually uh, increase to almost 28.30 if market is to continue dropping. And that would actually be really quick because this is an add the money option. So if a move is coming in our favor, we could uh, anticipate or we could actually just expect for a uh, quick rise in the premium. So I'll actually be a little bit affected on the other positions that I have. So if you have a look at it, our PNL actually came down drastically over here. So I know you must have seen that from 4.4 lakh profit, it has come down to almost 2.4 lakhs. Okay, let me know Bank Nifty goes up to date, dropped a lot in 10 minutes. Right? How do I know, man? Like we, I don't know anything. So what we can do is we can look for trades where we get good, good risk reward. See, neither you nor me know what market is going to do. So somebody is telling you, I know what market is going to do, he's lying. Okay, so you look at the charts and you see what possible setup can be traded. So here the we saw, okay, this day slow getting broken can be an opportunity. That is why we consider trading it. So that way you can trade, but you can't say market will go up, market will go down. Nobody can say that. So this is what I have for now. Uh, and if somebody is so scared, what I would kind of actually say is you just leave the thing. This is a hero zero, as I mentioned to you. Target, you can consider around 32. Uh, 28 to 32 range you can consider to be the first target because by then the market would also be doing a uh, like almost gap filling would be done okay so you can actually consider doing it apart from that any quick questions anybody and it is a five person on the wall Eh? The? I'll go. Atre.
Hmm. The market is increasing today or not? I don't know. My positions, more, more of my positions are bullish. That I can say, but I can't say market is going opening, going up. None of us know, man. None of us know. I'll give you the recording, don't worry. So, guys, I think for now I'll take a break. So, this is the Hero Zero. Uh, this is the Hero Zero published. So, 18.4 now. Target you keep to be 30. Okay. So let's see how it goes. Okay. So yeah, guys. So it was like really great meeting you guys. And uh, which indicator are you using? I'm not using any indicator. So this particular thing, our small case, you can actually use... The coupon code. Oh, sorry, sorry. Mistake, huh? mistake, mistake. You can use the coupon code winner90. Okay. And get 90% off. You can make use of it. I would recommend you to do it because we are going a little bit more aggressive on the small case these days. Okay. And uh, this thing, it's a hero zero. You do as you wish. Okay, now. So I, I I will kind of actually say till 30, something would be the target. But with every significant upside more, you can keep trailing. So today the high was like around 80. Okay, so for me, uh, I'm more having bullish positions. As you can see, it's bullish positions that I have for myself now. So I want the markets to actually move up. So for me as an individual, I want the markets to move up. I don't want the market to drop, rather I want it to move up. Okay. So I hope it is clear. So yeah, perfect. I think uh, for now, I'll kind of actually just wind up. Okay, guys, thank you. Have a great day. Uh, I'll update you later on because I have some other work to complete soon. So I think I'll wind up for now. So this thing you hold on. Now it is at 18. Okay. So I hope you like this particular thing. Uh, the Zoom live that we conducted. So uh, now I'll have I'll I'll have a special coupon code to all those guys who can actually. I I told you thirty. See, listen, guys, listen carefully. I told you the target one that we are looking at is like around thirty, but you can trail it depending on your uh, this thing, your comfort. You can trail it because this is a hero zero. Now, second thing I wanted to mention, I would uh, highly appreciate if you guys can actually take a image of this and share it on your social media uh, about the live trading sessions that we are conducting uh, and if you can tag us on our social media uh, we'll actually be giving you with some special coupon codes for some of the other services also that we have so you can actually just tag us on our social media by taking a screenshot sorry by taking a picture and then you can actually tag us uh, maybe on instagram or anything and we'll actually be having some special vouchers and coupon code that is going to be shared for uh, some of the products that we have okay so just make sure you're just taking a snap about our zoom live so this is the hero zero that we did right now we bought at 12.5 currently trading at 18.25 and as far as our bullish bias positions are concerned this is what we have in nifty okay uh, currently running at almost 2.4 but here though uh, our profits have come down from 4.4 l to 2.4 okay with the downside fall we lost money okay but still things are okay okay for the day so i hope you guys have some good learning the live trading session that we had okay so let's catch up next time guys so thank you have a great day <laughs> Trailer the cho. Entry lot trailer
Thank you all. Have a great day. You made twenty four k. Then you can send me some ten k. Okay.